and you will only be saved if you trust not in your own righteousness nor in anything you can do yourself but you give yourself to God trusting and believing on Jesus Christ that he suffered and died a wicked man's death so that we who are wicked can be forgiven by a just and holy God who cannot overlook sin without a punishment. Let Christ Jesus be the punishment for your sin. Let his shed blood cover all the iniquity you've done against God. For we like sheep have gone astray. Every one has turned to his own way. But the Lord has laid on him, Jesus Christ, the iniquity of us all. Who so concealeth or hides his sin will not prosper. But whosoever confesseth and forsaketh his sins shall find mercy. If you forsake your sins and come to God through Jesus Christ, God will not forsake you on judgment day. No matter all the prideful looks you've had, no matter how all the freaking imaginations you've had, when you're alone, in your room by yourself, or on your computer at night, looking at wicked things on the internet, Jesus says if you even look upon a woman, lust after her. Outside of marriage, you've committed adultery with her already in your heart. If you lust outside of marriage after men and women, God will judge you as an adulterer. And no adulterer will enter the kingdom of heaven. If you've ever hated anybody in your entire life, hatred is simply extreme anger. If you've ever hated anybody, God will judge you as a murderer. And how will you get his forgiveness except that you turn to God through Jesus Christ? Change your mind, change your heart, and give your life to God. He'll redeem you from darkness, and he'll speak into your life, life, and life, and living water. For he will give to him who is a thirst of the fountain of living water. Christ is that fountain which wells up to eternal life. And all those who hope in Him will not be ashamed. Oh, turn to God and forsake your sins. If you choose to love your sins instead of God, then fear this, that you're making God your enemy. For He will, will be a friend of the world. He is the enemy of God. James 4.4 4. He will be a friend of the world. He is the enemy of God. But God is His only begotten Son to die on a cross. A righteous man suffering a wicked man's death bearing upon Himself the full weight of the wrath of God on your behalf. And how will you escape the judgment of God if you neglect so great a salvation that's been wrought in Christ Jesus, God manifested in the flesh? How will you escape if you overlook the blood, the unblemished lamb that was begotten from eternal past? How will you escape the judgment and wrath of God if you don't take the forgiveness that was wrought by Christ Jesus? He drank the cup of the wrath of God on your behalf, drinking upon himself the full weight of your sins. And if you don't come to him, you'll have to drink the cup of the wrath of God that's poured out upon you. For God is angry with the wicked every day. And he'll turn the wicked into hell. And all nations that forget God. And the wicked 